Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Coach Reed had the confidence to give us a chance to throw the ball in that situation. Um, they they brought brought some pressure. Had very obviously were very concerned with what Travis was doing and. Um, I looked at, I think it was Rasheed first, and the safety cut him, and it, it gave MVS the free lane, and I just put it up and let him make a play. And in those situations, you put it up, you don't want to overthrow it, so you just put it up there one-on-one, let a guy make a play, and um, he did that. He made a great catch um, and still the deal. What does it mean to be in yet another Super Bowl? I assume you never get tired of this. No, you don't, you don't take it for granted either. Um, you never know how many you're going to get to um, if you're, or if you're going to get to any. Um, and so it truly is special um, just to do it with these guys after what we've been through all season long, the guys coming together. Um, it really is special. But uh, I, I told them, I mean, the job's not done. I mean, our job now is to prepare ourselves to play a good football team in the Super Bowl and try to get that ring. Patrick, uh, Kelsey during the week looked like he was particularly fired up. He said uh, at one point, this was, he wanted this one more than any other game, and, and he looked pumped up before and after the game. What got into him this week, or was it just another week for him? Yeah, he's one of those guys that he, he loves the challenge. Um, and, I mean, all week, I mean, rightfully so, we heard about how great their defense was, um, and they were. I mean, they shut us out in the second half. Um, but for Travis, that's like, all right, what, what can I do against this great defense? Um, and so he, he has that mindset, and he led us like that. Every single practice, every single walkthrough, he was focused in, he was locked in, bringing energy. Um, and, it makes my job a lot easier when you have a guy that's in that room, that tight end room, that receiving room, and he can lead those young guys and show them how we do and, and uh, lead us uh, to ASC championship. Patrick, um, I know how much respect you have for Lamar and what this mm -hmm. unit's been able to do. Uh, your defense has been pretty special all throughout the season to see what they did today. Just how do you kind of put it towards? Yeah, it's, it's special because that's a great team and a great quarterback. Um, and uh, Spags, it seems like when the games get bigger, when the challenges get higher, he performs even better. Um, and um, the guys execute the game plan well. Um, they got timely turnovers that played down, down at the goal line, punching the ball out. Uh, I think it was Sneed and recovering it. That was, that was a timely turnover, obviously. And um, whenever they're rolling like that, I have to kind of manage my game. Um, that's stuff that I've learned throughout the season is even if we're not having the success that I want to have, the defense is rolling and getting stopped. So let's just take the, take the safe choice, get the ball out of my hand, don't turn the ball over, and let's go win a football game. Last two will go Sam and then Adam. Patrick, it's the first time you've had to go on the road to get here, underdogs twice. What was just the experience like of this particular time? Yeah, it was cool. Um, just going to do two hostile environments, having to come together as a team and, and to win those games and, and hold that trophy, um, it really was special. Um, but if I had my choice, I'd rather do it at Arrowhead. So we'll try. Uh, after we go through the Super Bowl and hopefully win it, we're going to try to get it back at Arrowhead uh, next year. Last two. Oh, go ahead. Okay. What was the most trying Yeah, I mean, I, I don't like losing any any games. So every loss, I feel like, is tough. Um, but uh, we always had everything we wanted in front of us, and we had that mindset. And Coach Reed preaches that every single day we come into the building. Um, and, and no one hung their head, and everybody was ready to go. And now we're going to the Super Bowl, and like I said, we're not done. Bye, hey, and Adam. Back to the, pat, the play to Travis where you scramble around and make time and finally float it in there. Can you just take us through that and what that reflects about how you guys play together? I mean, of course, Travis ran the wrong route. So, and he ended up getting the football. Um, but, uh, no, we were – the offensive line did a great job protecting. I was kind of – I was trying to find a way to run, but they were they were doing a good job of containing me within the, with the D-line. Um, and then Travis just worked his way to get open, and when he's one-on-one, -on -one, I give him a chance, and I threw the ball, and he made a heck of a catch. Um, but, uh, I mean, he's a special player, man. And I, and I always say it, but when the lights get brighter, he plays better. Um, and that's the true uh, mark of a champion, and, that, and that's what he is. Last one, Adam. After you heard Clark talking about what Andy's like after a loss. Uh, from what, what, what's it like from your perspective? after a loss versus after when you guys play well and, and win? There's, there's no difference. The only time I've seen Coach Reed like kind of a little bit more excited is after winning the Super Bowl. Other than that, it's like the same exact person, but that's what you need. You need your leader to be calm, win, loss, no matter what it is, the same person, come to work every single day and put that work in um, and, and let us uh, be who we are. And he talks about showing your personality um, and lets us be who we are every single day. But he he's that, has that demeanor to show that no matter what the challenge is, we can go out there and uh, attack it. All right, thank you.